So, you're looking for the best bang for your buck gaming PC right now? In this video, I'm going to recommend one of the cheapest budget gaming PC builds out there for eSport gamers as well as other gamers looking for that super cheap PC build. Coming up! Welcome back my friends, Robin here on Ships Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for gaming. On this channel you'll find PC components, tech gadgets and console accessories as well as gaming reviews. So if you're interested in that, consider subscribing. In this video we're looking at one of the cheapest PC builds available right now. So with that said, let's get started. Now building your own computer is one of those things that for many people sounds complicated and challenging but then turns out to be the complete the opposite, something that most people find a pretty fun experience. But with the crypto mining hysteria going on right now, prices on the graphics card for gamers has gone through the roof completely, where in some cases you have to pay as much as triple the MSRP. It's really not the best time to be a full blown gamer right now. So what is the answer then for anyone looking for a new budget gaming PC? Well I don't have a definitive answer for every single gamer out there, but AMD has has a pretty sweet ace down their sleeve. I'm talking about a gaming system without a video card. Well, technically, let me show you what I'm talking about. Also, don't forget to check out Paul's Hardware's beefy full review of the Raven Ridge processor for in-depth details. So, AMD recently released their latest CPU in the highly popular Ryzen lineup. It's called AMD Ryzen 3 2200G Raven Ridge, as well as the Ryzen 5 2400G. Now, unlike your regular CPU, this one has has a pretty impressive integrated GPU on the same ship as well. Now as the name hints, this is the second generation Ryzen processor from AMD which offer enhanced technologies and are part of AMD Ryzen 2000 series of processors which are compatible with the 300 series motherboards with a simple BIOS update. What makes this CPU or should I say APU interesting are several, one of which the performance per dollar, but here are a few more benefits. AMD Ryzen 2200G Raven Ridge processor with Radeon RX Vega 8 graphics starts at 99 US dollars and the 2400G sits at 169 dollars. It releases on February 17th. And looking at the sheet here right now guys, we're looking at some pretty interesting numbers. Now why is a APU better than a regular CPU and a separate GPU card? Well, here are some arguments. You can simply plug your monitor into a compatible motherboard and yeah you can go right away there's no graphics card needed a 2200g or a 2400g is a better cpu than let's say the ryzen 3 1200 in stock clocks both these fellas are quad core processors with either four threads for the 2200g and eight threads for the 2400g additionally a apu is great for small narrow pc builds where a dedicated graphics card simply won't be able to fit which is also one of the sweet spot benefits with a solution like this because you can build a quite powerful system in a very small case also it's very cost effective and it supports overclocking as well with pretty good results. Moving on to the graphics card we are looking at the Radeon RX Vega 8 or the RX Vega 11. Again this is an APU guys meaning that the graphics is integrated in the CPU chipset. The fact that integrated graphics now can compete against solid dedicated solutions for just under a hundred dollars is kind of nuts if you ask me. Now if you happen to find yourself not being 100% satisfied with the frame rate that you're getting from the built-in RX Vega 8 or 11. You can obviously upgrade for a, let's say, a GTX 1060 when the mining hysteria is over or save yourself some money in the long run. But if you're happy to run eSport games like CSGO, League, Dota and Overwatch as well as Fortnite, 
in great frame rates, then the built-in RX Vega should be enough for you. Now with that said, you gotta be prepared to step back on the visual settings quite a bit to achieve silky smooth gameplay. In some titles, especially the more visually advanced AAA titles, the RX Vega 8 or Vega 11 won't be able to hold a constant stream of 60 FPS. Again, this solution is best suited for eSport gamers, where games like CSGO, Dota 2, League, Overwatch as well as Fortnite are going to be your main go-to titles. When the AM4 chipset first came out right about, well, exactly a year ago, as of making this video, AMD had some compatibility issues. In my case, I had some serious issues rendering my videos, where my PC every now and then decided to reboot during heavy render load. Now, a year has passed and I gotta say guys, AMD has been working 24-7 to get new drivers and updates out to fix the trouble that were seen in the past. Now that being said, we all know that Ryzen favors faster RAM speed and certain RAM modules and I didn't want to take any chances so I went with the ballistic tactical 8 gig for this build. I always advocate to opt for 16 gigs of RAM in this day and age but since DDR4 is so extremely expensive right now but for a budget build like this it is hard to find arguments that will make sense to go with anything higher than 8 gig without breaking your budget. Anyway you got faster speed and timings than standard DDR4 clock speeds, higher speed have proven to increase the performance quite a bit, again a rise in benefit from fast clocked memory modules. Now sliding over to the motherboard, the MOBO or simply the board, whichever name you prefer. When it comes to the components it's important that they work together, now these components that I'm recommending are 100% tested and compatible with each other. For the motherboard I went with the MSI Pro Series AMD Ryzen B350 board which offers a wide array of features and tons of I.O. such as HDMI out, a channel audio with Supreme FX sound card and built-in amplifier as well as 6 USB 2 and 3.0 ports. But you can obviously go for any B350 or X370 board if you want. Now as you can see guys the only difference between the more budget friendly 350 and the more expensive X370 is the ability to run SLI or Crossfire. You still have the option to let's say over clock in the future if you want as well. Additionally, this is a micro ATX board which is a smaller board in terms of size compared to its bigger brother, the ATX form factor. You still get all the features like overclocking and plenty of I.O. but uh, in a smaller form factor. If you want to opt for a dedicated graphics card along the way you can obviously do that here as well. For storage I went with a fast solid state drive of 500 gigs giving you not only a rapid fast operating system you also get plenty of space for your games as well as always i would recommend to add a mechanical drive a hard drive if you have a beefier steam library but for your esport titles this is definitely enough so we all need a power supply to make these components come to life i always like to recommend at least 80 plus bronze certification as a minimum as well as a beefier power supply unit than needed to give yourself some extra headroom if you want to upgrade along the road. Now this power supply from EVGA offers solid high quality 500 watts with 80 plus wide certification with 80% efficiency or higher under typical load at a price tag of $48. With EVGA's industry leading warranty, 500 watt power and 80 plus wide certifications, it's definitely a safe buy. Cooler most have been making cases for ages and when it comes to finding a case that offers a good fit quality as well as the aesthetic in this case a nice solid transparent side window and a couple of other nice features for a reasonable $40 price tag for a budget build it's definitely a great choice additionally it's not that big you still got plenty of extra space for hard drives and a additional video card if you wanna upgrade along the road and to sum it all up guys we're looking at a price tag of around 500 US dollars for gaming build with support of adding a dedicated graphics card in the future and with the option of jumping on overclocking along the road for this price
price, it's a ton of value for anyone looking for the cheapest gaming PC builds during the crypto mining madness. Speaking of which, what is your opinion on the whole crypto mining thing going on right now? Are you a fan or a hater? Share your thoughts in the comments down below guys. Now on this channel I cover a variety of gaming related peripherals, tech, console and PC components such as headsets, headphones, mics, monitors and so on. Recently I listed the best budget gaming mice as well as the best mechanical gaming keyboard. Link to those videos can be found down below. With that said, who am I to talk about this? Well first off I've been a gamer since I can't remember. I'm a tech junkie. I also worked in the gaming peripheral scene in the past. I also built an overclock computers for 12 years and I've also been a content creator for 3. Now there is a ton of videos just around the corner for you guys if you're looking for the best budget, monitor, headset, keyboard, headphones, mouse pad and more consider subscribing. Also don't forget to tap the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any uploads on my end. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Robin on Ships Media. Until next time guys, have an awesome day alright? Bye!